just like earlier, we are going out live on NASA television, so they'll be able to hear anything you say. First thing is, this is Mr. Mr. Rick Mr. Vice President, Rick Hensling, pleasure to meet you. Rick, great to meet you too. Welcome to the International Space Station Flight Control Room. Yeah. And so, uh, Senator Ted Cruz, this is our flight director on Congress. How are you doing? Rick Hensling, good very good to meet you. So the way this works is Rick has command and control of the flight control team. Uh, all of the operators here at the different consoles are receiving telemetry data from the International Space Station are able to send commands up to the International Space Station. The building itself has the ability to support Space Station, our exploration program down the hall, our commercial partners, and then is strategically designed for um, any programs that we want to do in the future. And so um, these guys are super excited. You can see up on our screens, if we kind of start on the left-hand side, we've got what we call the on the bottom left our six-pack because there's six screens. Um, we've got Dragon up on the left-hand side, obviously our crew in the middle. We have three crew members on orbit today. Uh, Peggy Whitson, of course, most folks are familiar with her. She holds the American record for amount of time in space. Yeah. Um, Jack Fisher, um, this is his first time flyer on the left, and then Fyodor Yuchikin. You can actually see a live shot of them moving to the right, and that's the U.S. lab, and they uh, stayed up a little late from the perspective of their day, just so you guys can see um, what they do on orbit. Uh, we've also got, obviously I mentioned Command and Control Hub, we have all of our international partners. So up across the top, um, you've got the Marshall Space Flight Center, far up on the left. Um, next to them, one of our commercial partners, that's the SpaceX Control Room in Hawthorne, California. And if you go all the way across to the right on the top, that's actually the JAXA Control Room. Obviously it's really uh, late in JAXA or early, depending on how you look at it. You can see one of their uh, folks in there watching over the data for JAXA. Um, the screen down here, we've got a shot into the Dragon. Um, so we birthed the Dragon just earlier this week, uh, early Monday morning, so CRS-11. You guys know that's maybe the first reflight of a Dragon, and so um, that's an exciting thing for us. We also have um, OA-7, so that's an orbital vehicle um, that's still on orbit. It's left the space station, uh, but it will be re-entering. It's currently doing some scientific experiments. So. There's a lot going on, and I talked a lot, so I will pause and see if you have any questions. That's great. So what what is um, what clock are they on if this is late for them? Yeah, so they do GMT, Greenwich Mean Time, um, and so you can tell about 3 in the afternoon local is kind of when their day winds down, which is okay. almost now. Um, and so our GMT clocks, actually if you go over here, up at the top, top kind of right, left, in the middle, and then you got GMT, and then crew sleep is right below that, so an hour and 54 minutes they go to sleep. So this is kind of the time. Again, we normally turn off the cameras, um, but we left them on just for you guys yeah. today. Um, but you'll, mission control is manned 24-7. Absolutely, sir. And so, people up. yes, it's yeah. the job of the flight directors. We have a team of flight directors and a team of controllers at the different consoles. We do uh, flex the consoles depending on time of day and activities. For example, if you do an EVA, you have folks in here that are responsible for you know, the spacesuits and, and the spacewalk. We don't do that every day. Um, so we do change it a little bit in terms of the actual numbers, um, trying to be efficient with our support. How, how many EVAs will you have astronauts do in the course of, uh, of a week or a month? So we don't do them typically every week or every month. We tend to think in about a year. So last year there was on the order of about six, if I remember correctly. Okay. Uh, when we were assembling the space station, um, we did them during shuttle missions and you would have uh, sort of a collection as you were putting the pieces together. Now a lot of what we do um, centers around preparing the space station and the ports for the next generation of vehicles, the commercial vehicles and, uh, and uh, government vehicles. Yeah, great. You guys have questions? Yes, sir. We, we go ahead and take them up front. All right. We got a few festivities up, the, you, up at the front. A few festivities? Festivities. Sure. 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 You can not come, come visit us. Away. Oh, no. We're, we're happy to have you guys. Thank you so much. It's very nice. <laughs> yeah, so who is it? These are Capcom, Leslie, Capcom. So they're our Capcom communicators, and they're the ones who talk to the crew. Very nice to meet you. Yeah, thanks for your service. Yeah, your jacket looks great. Does it look okay? Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, I'm yeah, so awesome. glad you guys were able to make it. Yeah, it's great. It's great. It's great. Which is awesome. Yeah. So right now you can see the International Space Station flying over the front of us. I know. Perfect. It's a little night time. Great to have you. Cool, Jake. Nice to meet you. Shortly. So I think when we're going to have the festivities going on up at the front, you'll see daylight. So how long does it take to do it? 90 minutes. 90 minutes. Yeah. 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 Y
You can get an app, by the way. All right, we're going to head up to the front a little bit. Got a couple more things to I don't want to get in anybody's way. Oh, you're Thanks for your work here. Thank you. Thanks. Yeah, proud of you. Thanks for your work here. We're all proud of you. Uh oh. Let's see. <laughs> come around to the back side just so we can talk and then I'll. So it's your birthday. I know you probably get 10 birthday cakes today. This is a homemade cake. I haven't got um, one yet. <laughs> they, just, they don't like yeah. This is a homemade cake um, uh, made specially for you by uh, one of our former flight directors who works in flight operations. Oh, and um, before we cut it, though, we've got a special presentation uh, that Mr. Scheimer would like to do. So. Yeah. Sir, uh, we wanted to uh, thank you so much for taking the time to come out here and, uh, and meet our new astronauts and, and some of our old, our old, older is probably bad, more experienced, uh, more, more experienced current. Current. astronauts, current. <laughs> current and more experienced astronauts. Um, and we wanted to give you a little uh, a reminder of, uh, of the Americans uh, working in space every day. So as you know, we got three up there today. In fact, th uh, we just had two return last week. Uh, we hope in the end of July to have three more astronauts uh, go up and live and work on the space station. So Great. we'd like to have you uh, uh, give this to you, uh, a model of the International Space Station. Uh, I, I don't know if someone's told you exactly how big it is, but it's about the size of a football field. So from goalpost to goalpost and from sideline right. to sideline, weighs Amazing. close to a million pounds and travels 17,500 miles an hour. So. Uh, it's a, it's a big vehicle, and uh, and it, and we're really proud of the research and the, and the people who work on board. Thank you. So thank you. I'll cherish that. That'll be in the uh, it'll be in the west wing of the White House before uh, start of business tomorrow. <laughs> 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 So one more, one more thing, and then we're back to touring. We got to cut the cake. We got to cut the cake. <laughs> well, so. I just want to be very clear on this. <laughs> when I was leaving this morning, I told my wife I wanted a birthday cake, mm -hmm. and she said, "How about we go with a birthday cupcake?" Oh. <laughs> well, and I'm going to tell her this is a Texas cupcake. It is absolutely. <laughs> is that all right? Does right. that work? <laughs> so. Good. And everybody, we're going to spread this. Oh, yeah, we're going to we're going to eat it. OK. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you, sir. All right, folks, one more round of applause. Happy birthday to Mr. Vice President. Thanks for your work. America's proud of you, and it's a real honor uh, for me to be here at Mission Control. So thank you, and God bless you. Thanks. All right, thank you. Okay. This goes with me. Get one, and we'll bring it up to you. We're going to have to
have a corner piece. Yeah, we can Oh, we're gonna we know where they're going. Enjoy your This is Mission Control Houston. Vice President Pence and his entourage now has left Mission Control here in Houston, the International Space Station Flight Control Room, following uh, his remarks earlier in the day uh, at the introduction of the 2017 class of astronaut candidates in nearby Building 9. So a new class of astronaut candidates uh, having been secured and uh, the crew on board the International Space Station uh, having wrapped up its work for the day, Vice President Pence having completed his visit to the International Space Station Flight Control Room here at the Johnson Space Center. With that, we'll wrap up this portion of our coverage for the day. This is Mission Control Houston.